don't honestly know if this is something that any of you will be interested in or not. Um, it's it's just something cool that I've got that at some stage I will get round to building. Um, it's it's an eagle from Space 1999, and it's it's fairly huge. At um, what what is this one? It's like it's like one forty eight scale. It's about twenty two inches long. Um, and it's massive. And I thought you might like uh, to get a look. I'll open it up and let you see what's what's inside it. Basically, uh, I'm not a huge modeler, as in model kits, but I got this for no particular reason. Certainly not because Crooked Dice do astronauts that look remarkably like um, you know people out of space 1999 and not because honestly castings have a little moon buggy that looks remarkably like a moon buggy no 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 it's got absolutely nothing to do with that at all all right so big box can't can't even get the whole of the box into shot and my incompetent way of filming things <laughs> what can i do skill level two <laughs> yeah mm, i'm not sure what they're basing that on an age is 10 and up Right, whatever. Uh, I'll have it over to the back, and obviously it's you know one of the the models from the show. Uh, there, now there's fancy upgrade kits and all that you can get for this. You can get like aluminium components to replace the landing pads and the the engine things like that. It cost an absolute fortune, unfortunately. Um, and I've seen the guys on the there's a space nineteen ninety nine like props and models group on Facebook. Some stuff's just gorgeous. Guys have lights in them and cockpit details and you get like brass etching bits for all that kind of stuff as well. That's well, well beyond my capabilities, I'm afraid. Um, now I did get this. I got this of Mike Jolly. Uh, model kits for less. He's got a shop in England. And he's got his online group as well. Very, very nice and pleasant to deal with. Um, now, confession time. This doesn't come with it. Um, this was a book that was brought out, or a magazine that was brought out at the same time they brought out this kit, basically. And it looks at, yeah, you know, how, how to do it top end. It's got lots of uh, photographs from the original models at the time, how they, they worked on them, restorations of uh, one of the original eagles and things like that there. It's just, it's just a nice thing to have. And, and to look at and go, I'm never, ever going to be able to do this justice. I'll just sit in this box for like eternity or something. Um, the amusingly light-hearted details. Yeah. Straightforward, huh? Nothing to it. Look at all that pipe work. Oh my word, what am I thinking? Yeah, but it's, it'll be lovely if if somebody else builds it for me. That's uh, got the little. This one's obviously the transport one, and you can you can get replacement modules for this kit where this lights up or it's it's got all the details. It's got like resin benches and chairs and things in it. You can even get the tunnel, the little tunnel that goes between the cockpit and and the cabin. You can get upgrades for that too. <gasps> Never going to happen. There's the springs for the landing gear. So they, they do they do boing. Cockpit glass and stuff like that. Something about modeling. That'll be no help to me. Look at the size of that. Look at that. What about 20 mil miniature right here? You'd think in this place I'm fine to. What's the most inappropriate miniature? I know Mickey Mouse isn't going to help. It's about to be a 28 mil miniature in one of these drawers. There's an old Games Workshop one. One of the old, uh, one of the old Judge Dredd mutes. So yeah, that's that's going to work. Let's see if we can find the uh, the cargo compartment in a minute. Landing gears. Pieces. Pipe work doesn't seem as bad now. I'm, I'm actually sort of looking at it because everything's already joined together. I've seen guys do like this in in metal and all as well. There's there's the cargo pot. That's huge. That's absolutely huge. Yep, I'm happy that 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 is a good enough scale. That will fit our purposes nicely. 
We win, dudes. Oh, I wish. It doesn't just end up being a big bundle of good. Yeah, I've been in here before because there's a Dalek. Special weapons Dalek too. Heavy weapons Dalek. Cool. Um, irrelevant. There's the engines. Have to get some sort of nice chrome paint for that. If you have any recommendations, more gear. And there's, there's our crew. Uh, both just the same. Might leave them out considering I just happen to, as I say, have 28 mil miniatures that, that fit the bill uh, for, for the Eagle. There's the end panels as well. I mean, there's a fair whack of detail in this. And the, you know, the bits that, well, I suppose if you drop the compartment out, you will see those. They haven't been lazy about it. Uh, and certainly not with all the other bits that you can get. Now, for months I've been searching for this. Sylvester McCoy, I have no idea what he's doing in here with a special weapons Dalek. Why was Sylvester McCoy in there? That's just wrong. I'd say painted him not too badly either. Um, I digress. Oh. Will we have a little look at the uh, transfers? I suppose it'd be rude not to, wouldn't it? It'd be rude not to. Have a look at them now before I mess them up. There we go. Oh man, look at that. The little Alpha Moon base, can you see that okay? Yes, you can. Just about. Alpha Moon base. Brilliant. Oh, that's, that is. That just scares me. <sighs> Luckily, I know people that build models and enjoy doing it. <laughs> But it would be nice to kind of get this one done myself. There you go. Just thought I would, uh, when it was there, just thought it'd be a shame not to let you see it. Now you've seen it. Probably the only time you'll ever see it from me, to be honest. Because it'll just scare me and I'll not do any more with it. But maybe, maybe in the summer, eh? Would I make that a summer project? Build the eagle? Well, I'm supposed to theoretically have more time for myself then. I might make a nice video, set of videos. My progression on building an eagle. Yeah, maybe do that. Anyways, there you go. That's something else for you to look at. Um, MPC's Eagle Transporter Plastic Model Kit. Glue required. No, really, Sherlock? Yeah, level two. I think they're lying about that. <gasps> Look, there's eagle specifications on it. Main motors, four nuclear fission. VTOLs, eight nuclear fission. Maneuvering four chemical rocket packs. Aww. Class. It's just lovely. You, you know, they must be, they must be one of the most iconic and beautiful sci-fi ships on the go. And that's why. You know what? It's probably, it's probably a sin to build it. It's nicer to leave it in its box like that as like, like an heirloom or something. Hmm? Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? There you go. That was my my treat at some stage to myself. I got I forget an awful lot of stuff there, like really. But yeah. But do check out Mike Jolly. Good lad. Get you nice things. Yeah, because it got me my Necromunda as well. Right, enough of that. Let you go because you know, use better stuff to do. Bye bye.